Happy Father's Day. Father's Day. Say love you, Daddy. Father's Day, Daddy. I love you. I love my daddy because he's always been there for me and he's always been there for when I need help and when I feel sad. I love you, Daddy. Happy Father's Day. I love my daddy because he helped me let and play with me. Hi Daddy, I love you. I love you so much because you bake with me and because you swim with me and I love you so, so much. Love you. Hey Somos family, get up on your feet and come dance with us.
tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how J S U S came down to us and gave his best. Out of doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Ah, God knows exactly what I need. So I remember this. Let's go. When you ask, he cares. When you see. out there. Thank you so, so much for your unconditional love, support, courage, and strength. So from the bottom of my heart and from our Somos family, we wish you a very happy Father's Day. It's week three of values where we learn all about what it means to be a Somos kid and more importantly, a follower of Jesus Christ. Who can remember what we talked about in the first two weeks? Yeah, listening ears and a kind mouth. Do you remember what we said about listening ears? I will listen twice as much as I speak. And a kind mouth? I will use kind words to honor others and speak up. I've been trying to use these values in my own house. Like when my mom says to do something, I use my listening ears and I listen. And I've been using my kind mouth to say nice things to my sister. But a lot of the times, it's not easy. Like when my sister and I both want to watch TV at the same time. I should get to watch TV, right? Because I'm the older one? <sighs> no, that's not right. And that's not what Jesus would say about it. Maybe this week's value will help me learn more about what I should do. Let's see what this week's value is. Humble heart. I will think of others before I think of myself. I think I really need to hear this one. Let's see what the Bible has to say about it. Today's story is about David. After David defeated Goliath, he became a very great warrior for years. The people loved David so much. In fact, they loved him way more than they loved King Saul. The people praised King Saul, but they praised David way more. This made King Saul very, very, very upset. He tried to hurt David, so David ran away, and King Saul spent a lot of time tracking him down. One day, while the army was hunting David, King Saul went into a cave. Little did he know that David was also in the cave. David and his men saw King Saul, and David's men told him that this was his chance to take revenge and hurt King Saul. So David crept quietly and cut a piece of King Saul's robe off. But as he did it, he felt bad about it. He said it wasn't right because Saul was still his king even after all the mean things he said and did. And God made Saul king. So David left and waited for Saul to leave the cave. When he did, David went out to confront him. 
He called out to the king and said, See, I could have taken revenge and hurt you, but I didn't. You are my king, and I won't hurt you. Saul teared up and said to David, You are a better man than me, and have shown great mercy, and said, Surely you'll be king. Saul continued to be mean to David, but David never struck back. And David did become king one day, because he had a humble heart. Wow. So, David was in so much trouble all the time because of King Saul. That's really, really horrible. Imagine someone just trying to hunt you down and hurt you all the time just because they were jealous of you. I think it's safe to say that King Saul did not have a humble heart. He thought he deserved to be more liked than David. He thought he was better and he wanted to prove it. That's why he hunted down David. But that's not how God wants us to think or act. He wants us to value others above ourselves. See, we don't want you to think less about yourself or think bad about yourself. That's not what we mean and that's not what Jesus meant. We just want you to think about other people a little bit more too. Like if you're playing on the iPad with your sister and brother and they want to play a game too, maybe you should take turns and let them. Or if you see your parents around the house struggling to clean up, you can stop what you're doing and take time out of your own time to help them. Or if you're at a friend's house and they want to play a game but you don't want to play that game, maybe you could put your feelings aside and play that game because it would mean a lot to them. You see, David had every chance to think that he was better than Saul. The people cheered David on the loudest and a lot of us would let that get to our head, but not David. King Saul tried to hurt him and even still, he didn't think he was better even though Saul probably would never do that. And when he had the perfect opportunity to pay him back and take the revenge, he stopped himself. He thought of Saul's value above what he wanted to do. Having a humble heart means I will think of others before I think of myself. That's why our memory verse this week is Philippians 2, 3, which says, don't be selfish, don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Let's say it together this time, but slowly and with motion. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourself. That was so great, you guys. Now it's time for our 30-second prayer challenge. Spend time thanking God for all the people in your life that you love, like your family and your friends. Then ask God to give you a heart like David, a humble heart. Remember, I will think of others before myself. Okay, ready? 30 seconds starts now, go. others. This week, I challenge you guys to give your parents a big hug and thank them for everything that they do to you. Make sure to submit a picture or a video and send it to this email, somoschurchep at gmail.com. Also, we'll be giving out one free custom Disney mask randomly between everyone that sends a video in, so make sure you send in your video really soon. Well, before we leave, we always pray together. So join me while we pray. Dear God, thank you for another beautiful Sunday. Thank you for our family and our friends. And thank you for our fathers, God, on this day that we honor all fathers throughout the world and father figures. God, I pray that you give us a heart like David, God. I pray that you just help us be humble, God, and put others before ourselves. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come back next week to learn a new value. 
Bye, Somos kids. See you soon.